Welcome to the Tarkov Casino, a place where you never win, but your friends always get a red keycard out of the cheapest scav box. Speaking of scav boxes, the intelligence folder option was recently added, and I did 10 of them to see if it's actually worth doing. Couple things worth noting before we get into it. I'm using the sale price of all items on the flea market. I know that some items you can make more by vendoring them, but I'm looking for continuity here, so it's gotta be the same across the board. The current market price of an intelligence folder is roughly 230,000 rubles, so that's gonna be our base metric to determine our profits. Let's see how it turned out. I'm only gonna be stopping on each picture here for five or so seconds, so feel free to pause the video and look further if you need to. That wasn't even remotely profitable. Like, dear God, it's really bad. Only three boxes yielded any amount of profit, and it's not even that much to begin with. This means that I spent roughly 2.3 million rubles on intelligence folders, and I only got 1.75 million rubles in return. This means my yielded profit was only 76% of my initial investment. So, is the intelligence option worth it? No, not even remotely. Save your money. You're better off selling your folders until the price of them equalizes to what they're worth, or the option gets buffed. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to like and subscribe. It helps with that YouTube metric stuff that I care about. I also stream every day, so if you want to come hang out with us, feel free to stop by at twitch.tv slash joshposhtv. Links for that, Twitter, and Discord are down below. Feel free to click them. Have yourself an awesome week, everybody. I'll see you out there.